Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you today how you can get Siri on your iPhone 4. This is not just a graphical user interface, this is actually fully functional Siri. This package was just released yesterday, it was made by a Chinese developer and it's called H1 Siri. As you can see, it's Siri, yes. just like on the iPhone 4S. Sorry, I am having trouble connecting to the network. But at the moment, it does not connect to the network. It's supposed to go to a proxy server that, that the developers set up, but those servers are being hammered at the moment because everyone is trying this out. But the developer has said that he's moving those servers, so hopefully in the future, they'll be able to handle all the capacity. But, I mean, it's serious. So I'm going to show you how you can get this without even using a computer and SSH and everything. You can get it right through your iPhone, do all the downloading, installing, right on your iPhone and you can even fix the camera bug which disables video recording via the camera app I'll, I'll show you how to fix that too so what you want to do is go to Safari you want to make sure you have iFile installed from Cydia okay and you're gonna go to this Mediafire page I'll have a link in the description okay and you'll click right here it'll say download now so you just download that and you wait for this bar up here to get all the way downloaded it's 110 megabytes so it'll take a while so make sure you're on Wi-Fi not 3G otherwise you'll eat up your data plan but so you just wait for that and then it'll bring you to a screen that uh, shows a little icon right here and it says open in in the top left corner you want to tap that and go to iFile tap iFile then okay so after you download that file through Mediafire and open it in iFile you'll see it'll show it right here h1 siri.zip it's a zip file so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on it zip viewer is what you press you're gonna enter in the password which is www dot apple h i dot com then you'll press ok and it will take you to the contents of that zip folder which is the h1 siri dot deb file which is the installer okay so once that opens up the contents of that zip file you'll see this h1 siri dot deb okay you click on it and you click this button in the bottom right corner which is extract it and click extract file and that'll unpack the file and get it into your iFile directory so once that's done unpacking the file it'll just bring you back to this screen just click done and then you'll see h1 siri.deb right here you just click on that and click installer and that will go through the whole process of installing it okay so once that completes you'll be brought back it'll say completing you can just click the done button you'll be brought back here now you want to exit out and you want to restart your device now since you're on a tethered jailbreak you have to plug it into your computer and go through the whole process so but once you're done with that you can go to settings general and there will be this new option of Siri and you enable that and then you should have Siri working well not working because once again it won't connect to the servers but you'll have all the graphical stuff and in the next coming days it will be fully functional now if you try to record video with your camera app you'll notice that it won't let you in order to fix this we have to download another file and replace one of the files with it so what you want to do is go to this docs.google website I'll have a link in the description um, and if you see it'll say sorry we we are unable to scan this file for viruses, it was too big, but click download anyway. And then this is another 180 megabyte file, I think. So this bar will go all the way. And then it'll be the same process. You'll click open in in the top left corner and iFile, and it will bring you back to iFile. Now I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to go to iFile and show you you'll have a camera fix dot rar a rar file just click on it on archiver not zip viewer but on archiver and this will unarchive the rar file 
so it shouldn't take too long. Just wait a second for it. Okay, and there it is, it's done. So you just click done. And now you'll see DYLD shared cache.arm v7. That's the one. You click the little arrow and you can see everything, okay? So what you want to do, click edit, top right, click on that file, and click the clipboard, and you want to cut it. So you're copying it to another file, okay? So then back out of here, all the way back, and you want to go to System, Library, Caches, com.apple.dyld, okay, and you'll see this file here. It looks like the same one, but it's actually not the same one. So you want to delete this one first. So edit, tap on it, garbage can, move file to trash. That'll take a second. Okay, and then when you what you want to do, edit clipboard paste and it will move that folder that you just cut from the other directory into this directory which will fix your camera issues so you'll be able to record video again there it's done so now you wanna restart your device again and your camera will be back to normal and you will have Siri yes Oops. Well, it will work in a few days. So hope that got helped you guys. Don't need a computer for this. Just a jailbroken iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4th generation. Thanks.